The other thing to talk about is the potential for rapid intensification and how much fuel this system is going to have. So this is potential tropical cycle nine, about where they expected to form, looking at the available ocean heat energy that it will have. So this is the fuel for the storm to potentially feed off of, and it looks like it will be excessive at best, certainly looking in the extreme range there. And so th things starting to look a little scary when we talk about a storm in the Gulf with such low shear and high ocean temperatures. Jeff, your, your thoughts as you see Rebecca go through those graphics. You're, you're coming in here this Monday, mm -hmm. really looking at these models coming in. What's, what's something that stands out to you? Well, I like the way that the models are kind of concentrated a little north of us um, and, you know, right in the Big Bend area. I like it for us in the Tampa Bay area. I don't like it for the folks who would have to endure this storm. What I don't like is what I see in terms of the uh, rapid intensification, the pressure, and the wind speeds that can be achieved by this storm. Rebecca showed you the graphic, which has uh, ocean heat content, and actually it's at record levels. And the storm is forecast to push right over not only the Yucatan Channel there, but right over the Gulf Loop Current. So that's why the models are strengthening it. Now, you see the National Hurricane Center has this storm as a Cat 2 when it makes landfall, but you can pretty much guarantee once it obtains the name Helene, which could happen at 5 o'clock today or 11 o'clock tonight, uh, then they are going to up that, likely, uh, to at least a major hurricane. I say at least a major, I mean at least a three. But I will tell you that uh, some of our best hurricane models have it a lot stronger than just a Category 3. I won't go into the details necessarily right now. All right. <laughs> but yeah. it's pretty. the storm strength is pretty scary. But, JB, you asked me, the one thing that, that I like to see is that it hasn't trended east today. That's good news.